um, the left is really good at selecting their words, extremist policies, people from out of town. Well, I have a few words for them and you. How about communists, groomers, pedophiles? There's no, logic, there's no logical excuse to allow this material or to keep secrets from parents unless you are trying to groom our children. I just want to be informed about what might, and by the way, I do have two children in the Washoe County School District, and I am a taxpayer, so I have a right to be here and to speak my mind. I just want to be informed about my, what my children are doing and learning at school. I don't want my children going to a school where other immature children are reading sexually explicit material, and I think deep down that you know that. The leftists are the extremists wanting to normalize sex at a younger age. Why not allow alcohol in schools or rooms for kids to have sex? It's distracting. They're there to learn, okay? And when you have this type of material in the libraries, kids are just walking around being sexually aroused. That's not right. That's not what they're there for. I've heard a couple of librarians say parents do have a choice in what their kids have access to. I'd like to know how that works. Can I request that my children not have access to books that feature homosexual parents or sexually explicit material? And then what? They follow my child around the library and make sure they don't pull these books off the shelves? What if the only book that my children can check out is the Lipstick on Pigs transdemic book? Is that okay? You talk about safe spaces, but I don't think there are any safe spaces for conservatives here. There are books out there that speak to kids of different backgrounds that don't involve sex. This is yet another excuse designed by the left to make us feel guilty and to allow you to keep grooming our children. But it's not gonna work. I used to be a brain dead liberal zombie and thank goodness for my husband constantly hitting me with logic and facts and he finally woke me up. Okay, now I feel like I'm backed into a corner here and that's why we get upset. If you're so confident that these policies are good, then why not send a copy of some examples of this language home to every parent and see what they think? The suicide rate among the alphabet community is so high because so many people indulge their fantasies instead of getting them real help. I don't know how you guys can listen to all this, all the material from these books and sleep at night. It's so disgusting. I try to read some of this from my own knowledge and it makes me sick. You should read Strong Fathers, Strong Daughters. 